Today, I'm going to go over one of the most frequently asked questions that we get from you guys from all over the world. Why isn't my chest growing? I'm going to break this down for you into points that you need to learn and understand so we can identify what you need to change. So number one, you haven't been training enough. How often are you training chest? Maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, maybe every day. You don't want to overtrain, but if you really want to develop that muscle, you will need to train it more often than less. Chest is actually a body part that I like to work on. My rule of thumb is I like to train, train chest every fifth day. So on a Monday, I'll train chest, and then on a Saturday, I'll train chest also. And I do different types of workouts uh, within each of those days so that I can really develop that full chest. So this brings me into my number two reason. It's lack of effort. All right, so you can't expect to get that big rip shredded chest if you're not putting the effort in, right? You're not putting the time, the energy, you're not developing the proper form and you're not pushing yourself. That's what lack of effort comes down to. You can even break it down even further into, okay, lack of effort. Some people look at me just going to the gym, stepping through the door is me putting effort into going to the gym. It'd be broken down even further. I made it to the gym, I'm actually working out, but did you put effort into the workout? Did you put intensity into the workout? If you're already putting the time and energy into getting the gym, make sure that you're putting 100% into the workout. If I just do par or what I outlined for the workout, it's just, like I said, an outline. If you're just doing three exercises, four sets, and 12 reps at each set, that's just an outline. If you wanna excel, you're gonna to have to push yourself beyond that, and you're gonna to have to know your body. If you like the way a specific workout is going, a specific exercise feels, hit another set of that, hit another few reps of that. That's the effort I'm talking about, lack of effort. You're not putting that extra, extra sets in there, extra uh, reps in there to really develop that chest you want. Lack of effort could be, could come down and stem from just motivation. You're not motivated. You need to find ways to motivate you in the gym. Like how you find ways to motivate you outside of gym financially or getting a promotion or getting through your classes in school and doing well in school. You find that motivation to become better. You need to find that motivation in the gym. Okay, this brings me to number three reason. It's holding on to excess body fat. You could be holding on to excess body fat that is covering your chest muscle. That body fat means it's you're gonna have a layer of fat covering the muscles that you do have. You'll need to drop your body fat percentage to get those defined muscles to show. But you could be training right, strength training, and putting in the time and effort, and really getting some good workouts, and you could have a really nice chest, but your body fat's so high, you can't really see that. When your body fat is low, your abs are gonna show, and that creates that dimension. When you have a skinny waist and a broader upper body, it's gonna make that chest look a lot bigger because you have that depth and dimension. So you're gonna have to reduce your body fat to get your muscles to show. That comes through uh, endurance training, uh, also, HIT, which is high intensity interval training, where you're strength building and cardio training all together at once. It's gonna be very effective with your time. It's fast paced, you're doing multiple movement, compound movements, and you're gonna be burning a lot of calories in a shorter period of time. And that short period of time of high intense burst of training is what activates the afterburn effect. And that's what we preach here is the afterburn training. And with afterburn training, of course, not only are you getting burning calories within the workout, you're gonna burn calories even after your workout. So number four reason is you're not eating enough. A lot of people think that they're eating enough because they're getting their three meals a day, they're getting their two snacks, and they're meeting their requirement for the meals. But within those meals, are you getting enough macronutrients? Is your protein count enough? Is your carbs? Is your fats? So that's what you need to understand. Just because you're getting your meals in doesn't mean you're eating enough. And for example, I have a, a lot of clients that tell me, hey, I'm, I'm getting my three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks. They give me their three meals and snacks, and I break it down for them, and they're getting, let's just say, 80 to 90 grams of protein, and they weigh 150 pounds. And the rule of thumb for protein to weight ratio, if you're really trying to, to get bigger and uh, get stronger and develop your body, is you need to get one gram of protein per pound. So at 80 and 90 grams of protein, he was getting half the protein he required as you know, a 150 pound person. So now I wanna address issue number five, which is doing the wrong training. What this means is that whenever you are approaching your chest day and doing your chest workout, you want to hit the bigger compound exercises first. Dumbbell presses, your flat bench presses, your floor presses. Those types of exercises are big compound movements which develop a big chest. The size comes from presses, so you'll need to address and approach 
pressing first to really develop that big chest and then you hit your flies. I think of flies as a sculpting exercise. Yes, it's gonna help develop the chest, but it's more for sculpting and definition purposes. Doing the wrong training could mean that some people aren't getting that bigger chest because they're doing those auxiliary movements first. To gain strength and size, you're gonna have to lift heavier weight. That's just a given fact. But if your muscles are spent, you're not gonna be able to push that higher weight that you usually do if you were to start with those exercises to begin with. So this brings me into point number six. Don't get ahead of yourself. You could be thinking too far ahead where it might discourage your present day and your, your, the current results that you are actually getting. Like if, let's say you see me at the gym, I've been working out for 15 years. You don't know that, but I know that. And if you see me, you think, oh man, he's in the gym, he looks like that. And how come I don't look like that? I've been working out for you know a year. Well, I got 14 more years than you, so you're thinking too far ahead. So break it down into smaller goals. If your main goal was to bench, you know, 405 or whatever, um, you're gonna have to take steps to get in there so that just because you don't bench 405 immediately, you're not gonna give up immediately. So I need to bench 185 first. I need to bench 225. I need to bench 225 for reps. You wanna start out with the basics. Uh, you don't want to get it too complicated where you think too far ahead and when you think too far ahead and you don't get what you want, you're going to give up a lot easier. So don't set yourself up for failure. You're going to have to put in that work, that hard work, and you have to be consistent to gradually get to where you want to be. Now that we identified what may be wrong with your training and chest development and your approach, it's time to start changing things up and to start doing things correctly. Leave me your comments and any questions you have so we can get to the bottom and underlying factor of what your issues are so we can address them and help you guys out with more videos like this. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Six Pack Shortcuts. Thanks for tuning in today. I'll see you next time.